Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello everyone and welcome to my Creative African Cooking Channel, Ndu Dubai Fafa. So if you've actually watched some of our previous videos, you'd have actually seen me in this outfit and actually used it as a tunic um, dress then, I guess. Yeah. Um, but it actually comes with this cloth which actually has these strings there and what I then do is I tie it around so I actually end up with like a midi or maxi outfit. So what I then do is just tie a knot as you can see here. So that creates that waistline that I need oh, yes. and then roll it that way, it goes behind and this is where the string comes in handy. So to my side. I tie it. Hey, you get some waistline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just twist it underneath it to hide it. And yeah, I think, yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Momda. Hey. Shak shak. Kwe. Hey. 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 The spice for discussion today is known as karam, caraway, ajwan, um, but they're not supposed to be named as seeds because they're more of like a seed-like fruit. And um, they're small and overshaped, um, sort of pale brown in color. And the smell is quite pungent. Um, it actually smells almost like thyme. Um, however, the flavor, it's slightly bitter. And it actually tastes like a mixture of anise and oregano. So it has a sort of earthy taste as well that pairs perfectly with goat meat and lamb. I'm actually going to be steaming my goat meat um, with my caramel seeds and of course with my ginger and onion and a bit of anise seed. And I think I have to actually do um, a special edition of anise seed because anise seed is like in everything that I actually make. Um, because it's always fragrant, but anyway, we're not talking about anise seed today, no. We're talking about caram seeds. Now let me just show you what I actually use the caram seeds for. And also I will discuss the benefits as well and whatever the side effects are. I was quite lucky to be introduced to the spice by a friend um, when I was going through my IBS phase um, and I was reacting to a lot of foods and she was like, oh no, you need to actually include um, Adrian seeds in her case um, to your dishes. As she described that some of the medicinal uses um, was primarily to help with stomach disorders such as indigestions, flatulence, diarrhea, and colic. Um, and it also acts as a cleanser, detox, and an antacid as well. Um, so it was quite good and I was intrigued. I was like, okay, yeah, why not? So when I did go to the Indian grocer, I went straight to the spice section and I found it and I started incorporating it into my dishes and I'll tell you what, it was good. So here I've got my caram seeds. Um, we have to call it seeds because can't keep going seed like fruits. <laughs> I've got my aniseed, ginger and onion. Now by including aniseed to this mixture, it's great because the taste itself of the caram seeds includes that sort of anise and oregano mixture and taste. So I'm enhancing that aromatic flavor of this now. Please forgive my croaky and nasally voice today. I hope that I am clear and you can understand me. For the first time ever, I'm suffering from hay fever. What? Where did that come from? But it's not going to stop me from doing my videos. So here I do have my blended mixture of ginger, onion, aniseed, and caram seeds, which I'm going to infuse the flavors into my goat meat. So I've got my goat meat here, which I'm now adding my beautiful spice blend to it, as you do. <laughs> there are a few basic rules when it comes to incorporating flavors to your meat. Best to marinate your meat for a minimum of an hour. For better results, marinate it overnight in the fridge. When you take your marinated meat out of the fridge, allow it to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. This would allow the meat to come up to room temperature and then you can steam it gently. This would allow the flavors to infuse just perfectly. So here, for the purposes of this video, um, I did marinate it just for about an hour because if now we'll be waiting for so long. 
I've mixed everything till it's well combined, brought it to room temperature, and now I'm actually going to be steaming this meat. I'm steaming the meat in its own juices, so I'm not adding any water. There was water though, um, when I did blend the ginger and anise seed and carom seeds and everything together, I added a little bit of water to allow the blender to blend everything. And so that is okay. And I've reduced the heat to the lowest setting, the very lowest setting, because I just want this to cook just gently and the flavors just infuse naturally and beautifully. If you have been watching my previous videos, you would notice I always cook on a very low heat and I always stress the importance of incorporating your flavors naturally and building upon the flavors at each stage of your cooking journey. So this is no exception in terms of the cooking method that is involved here. I'm just highlighting it, I think, again. <laughs> After 20 minutes of steaming on a very low heat, there is a reason why you do not add water. Now for the aromatic and slightly spicy flavor, I'm adding some fresh chilies, which would enhance the flavor of this meat. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I've got 25 minutes left of this meat to steam and to reduce water content. That becomes my stock. That stock can be used for jollof rice, for soup, for anything, for stews. Practically, it becomes your natural flavor enhancer. So you can use it whichever way you prefer. So after 45 minutes, your meat is cooked. Now, instead of frying the meat, you can place it on a baking tray under the grill for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees and you have your crispy but moist beautiful goat meat however i'm actually continuing to make a recipe now i know right you guys are lucky <laughs> so i've got some coconut oil that i've heated up and now i'm frying my goat meat because i'm actually just going to be making some you know, shabba shabba dish. <laughs> so talking about infusing of flavors, this recipe is a must try. So I have got the coconut oil, as I mentioned earlier, and I'm browning my goat meat. I'm just using half of the goat meat. I'll be using the rest of something else. So I brown this for about five to six minutes. So once it browns, you then add your onions. This would fry for about three to four minutes making sure that I'm turning everything round and I don't want it to burn. I just want to enhance the flavors. So I want the coconut oil to take on the onion. I want the goat meat to also do so and also the flavors in the goat meat to infuse itself into the coconut oil. So this is like infusion, the infusion frying pan right now going on. You think I've finished? Oh no. So continuing, I did add some red chili and my African nutmeg and blended all this together. Now the red chili that I used was from Ghana. It's this beautiful smoked red chili. It's beautiful. So go to the market and get yourself some. So add about three tablespoonful of your spicy mixture and fry this gently for about four to five minutes. This is such an easy recipe to make. Now let's talk about the flavors that's been incorporated here. So you've got the carom seeds, which is the main ingredient here today. As discussed earlier, the flavor is similar to a fusion of anise and oregano. So we've got that flavor there already. I've added aniseed for that fragrant licorice taste as well. So you've got this earthy bitterness coming through from the carom seeds and then you've got this aromatic uplifting flavor as well. So I'm balancing this. And we have the African nutmeg, which gives it the sweet, lovely smell as well as this aromatic flavor. So you are balancing the flavors here. Now these are quite strong flavors. So you, it's important that you use these ingredients sparingly because you're enhancing the natural flavors of the dish, not overpowering it. I believe in the list of ingredients, including the measurements for this recipe on my blog in dudubayfafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. So after frying, I also sprinkled and added some red chili flakes. I did say this was hot. Yes, it is hot. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so you can get some yogurt to the side uh, to serve with this. It would just be great. Yes. I have been asked a few times as to why I do not include salt in most of my dishes. 
I'd say it's a personal preference and it's more for health reasons. Um, I try to reduce the amount of salt um, that I do take. However, I replace it by adding flavors by using spices, but you can add salt um, to match your own personal preference as well. So yes. <laughs> so now that I've actually fried this, I've added the chili flakes and also some onions so I can get that crunch. I've got a secret ingredient, okay. So I found this beautiful mint chocolate herb. I know, yes, okay. So it's not like chocolate that is infused with like mint, okay. But it has that taste. This herb is just incredible. I found it in um, one of the garden centers and I was so intrigued. And I added that, so you know, mint and lamb and goat meat always goes perfectly. So to have that chocolatey flavor, just like it lifts it. Like this is flavor packed, absolutely. So I've just drizzled with, with it. And here we have the pièce de résistance. Look at this. Now, I have actually done a lot of goat meat recipes and I hope this recipes actually inspired you um, to try it because it's a lean meat and it's really good. It's packed with flavors as well. Secondly, um, if you look at my lamb um, recipe, you would see me steaming and I always um, do talk about steaming with no water at all and allowing the meat and the water content that's already in the meat to steam that meat and enhance the natural flavors. So I've used it to make my go-to-meat light soup and the palm nut soup. Thank you very much for watching such an exciting episode and I hope you are inspired to try some of the recipes. Now, do not hesitate to leave your comments below. Yes, absolutely. About your experience because I love reading from you guys. You are also absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet, can you please do me that favor and click that subscribe button and also the notification button. So each time I do upload a video, it's delivered straight to your email address. No wahala, VIP, mm -hmm. access, straight. If you are new to this channel too, wow, well done. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you and I hope you're inspired to try some of the recipes. And you're welcome. Yes. <laughs> You will find the transcripts of this recipe, including the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as in dudubaifafa. So do pass by and say hi. Until next time, take care of you, be you, be beautiful, be nice. And guess what? I love you just the way you are. Kisses.